SolidWorks, there are a lot of things you can customize to improve your efficiency of making parts. Most of these customizations can be changed by clicking the drop down arrow next to the settings button and clicking customize. A window pops up showing which things you are able to change. There are multiple tabs here that change more settings. These tabs include toolbars, which changes the visible toolbars you can use while making a part. Shortcut bars is a pop-up window that pops up when you click the letter S on your keyboard. This is where you can change what types of features or tools pop up when you click the letter S. Commands is where you can add or remove tools to and from your main tabs. In menus, you can change the visible menus. An important tab is keyboard. This is where you can customize keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts are used so you can easily use a tool or give SolidWorks a command. For example, Control N will start an, up a new document. This is faster than going to the top and clicking the new button. Many users change these shortcuts to tools, so you can avoid using the main tabs at the top of your window. Mouse gestures is another important tab. I use this instead of keyboard shortcuts. You can either have four or eight gestures. When you right click and slide into a direction, SolidWorks will open up the specific tool or do the command. For example, when I am in an assembly or part, I right click and slide up to the right. My view changes to an isometric view. Lastly, the customization tab is used to restore your settings to default. I will be using mouse gestures during the tutorial. However, you can use whatever type of shortcuts are most comfortable for you. I hope this has given you a good understanding of how you can become a quicker designer. Thank you for watching this video.